Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy John from the here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. In today's episode, I don't know what we're going to do. I actually genuinely have no clue, um, but we're going to do whatever the game tells us we're going to do because honestly, I forgot what to do in Sword and Shield at this point. Like, we're playing Sword. That's all I know. So, yes, we got this. Yo, uh, he's totally so thrilled to not know anything. We're going we're gonna to do great, everyone. But yeah, so <laughs> in this episode, we're doing something. <laughs> I know that we get to meet Bede, and we get to know a special thing about Bede. That's not all I remember. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I don't know much about Sword and Shield, so I've been kind of trucking through. Uh, the only thing is that I, t I told Charizard, I'm like, I know I'm going to have back-to-back -back gyms, which was the truth. But from there, I don't know. So, <laughs> Woo. okay, so you're not a TM dude. Wait, do we not have a TM dude? Do they both just sell the same stuff? Oh my gosh, why? Why, 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 why? Why do we have two people that apps do this? Excuse me. Excuse me. What's the point of having... Oh, there you go. Okay, I was just facing... I was like, what the... What's the point? It's... Okay. Thank goodness I didn't have to be triggered. Because I, for one minute, thought we were about to be triggered AF. But all these teams are absolutely garbage lovely uh yeah there's literally no point for them quite frankly okay bye bye pointless team dude but we are back at hammerlock and i'm curious to see oh wait i should pick up these items that are on the floor Super repel, because there was another one that I just totally missed and was silly for not going and grabbing. It's right here. I don't know what it is. It's probably something pointless, but yep, X attacks. It was something pointless, but you know what? It never hurts to double check your surroundings because hidden items could be very good to have. So, and especially in a big town like this, you never know. Hi, Bead. How are you, buddy? Come to gawk at me again now that I've had my gym challenge ban taken away. Ugh. I cannot believe my gym challenger status has just been revoked like that. Can you really afford to waste your time on me? Ugh. Of course I can because you freaking deserve it. Anyways, well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up Ugh. with me at least after all. I'll have you know though, I haven't given up. I must become champion in order to help the chairman and I will go I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. <laughs> hmm, that boy. Now that's what I would call pink. <laughs> oh, and so sincere, straightforward and yet twisted and misguided. I like it so much. That's the kind of thing that gives people so much depth. Time for my gym mission, child! Whoa, 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 what are you even talking about? Pink. Pink. And more pink. Congratulations, child. You are now my new gym leader. I'm going to retire because of you. Mimis Opal, what have you gotten yourself into? You were used by Elenia, am I right? You worked hard to gather witching stars for her, only for you to throw her to throw you away like rubbish once she was already done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out a little bit. Of course, it all depends on how hard you want to work and how much you're willing to put in. Are you testing me? Very well. I accept that. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars farewell child you should head to sinchester i'll take you i'll take i take it you know how to get to route seven right we've been there before yes we we, we got this we got this you're fine um which actually we don't we have an encounter that we can get there as well so we might as well just go um, so that's what we're doing in today's episode, I think, is actually getting to Sinchester, which is just like, wow, how are we getting there already? But it's fine, right? We're gonna be okay. 
Definitely. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Sonia. You're going to want to talk to us. Hey, uh, gym badge collecting going well, I see. You haven't lost a single Pokemon to the Nuzlocke. I've been doing some research on the ruins on Stone on the side, and I really don't know. The Sword and the Shield, what kind of Pokemon were they even really? And what are they even now? I still have so many questions, and I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries. Uh, uh, are you kidding me? What was that? Hammerlock Stadium just shook. Doesn't look like it had a problem. That's what Chairman Rose power plant is, isn't it? Huh, a power spot. You mean like where we can Dynamax? That's right. A power spot, spot detector reacts when it's possible to Dynamax. Sonia, John too. You felt the shaking, right? Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. So Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? I can make sure the chairman knows. Y'all just get lost, Leon. I'm going to go with you. I'm really looking forward to seeing how you compete in the finals. So, sh you should leave the investigation to the quaking on the quaking to the adults. Head to Sinchester and get that gym badge. Literally everybody said that. We know where we're going. We didn't need three different people to say that. We're going to get a fourth person to say that, aren't we? Oh my gosh, John. Come over here. No, I don't want to deal with you. Uh, can we just not and say we did? No, we do have to deal with it. First that forest, then that mad quiz. I've lost in, I'm lost in every sense of the word. But it looks like I finally caught up with you again. Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. But no, I don't wanna. Also, he went this way. Is it actually the way you get to Route 7? I guess maybe I did need his guidance. <laughs> you know what? Maybe Hop's guidance actually did help after all. I would have gone to the train station. <laughs> okay. I, I, I gotta be honest when somebody helps me out. So, good job, Hop. Thanks for helping me. Whoopsies. Definitely don't know where. That's how you know I don't know where I'm going. I was about to go to a completely wrong area. Um, so we love that. We love that I'm going to the wrong spots, thinking that I have to go places that I don't. That just sets us up for some failure. Yes. Also, we didn't even do a team recap. Good job, John. More random things that we didn't do that we should probably do. So we have... This is our team. I honestly don't need to go through the team recap. Oh, yeah, I do. Because Will about decided to be freaking insane. So Will about decided, let's just go ahead and just learn, you know, Facetious Rend. Because why not? With my with my adamant nature, Facetious Rends. You know, because I, I need a hundred and I needed 170 base power physical attack when I'm faster. That I just, you know, it just, I needed it. You know, and I could have probably bought Rain Dance to make it even more insane. But, you know, that would be just too broken, am I right? Honestly, like, I, the fact that I probably could have taught Rain Dance to, like, one of my support mons is scary. But, you know what's even better? This thing called uh, people using Dynamax water moves, and that doesn't affect me, except for it affects you. But, you know, I wouldn't be sending out Ye in that circumstance. Anyways, so, yeah, so we're going to fight Hop right now because, of course, we have to fight Hop right now. Because why would we not have to fight Hop right now? Because Hop likes to get in the way. And we just talked about having to fight Hop like 200,000 times with Charizard. So it just makes sense that we have to fight Hop another 200 times. So, I don't even know who we're leading with. We're leading with Spoopy, which we're probably going to get a... F oh, yep, that's exactly what I expected. Something that Spoopy can't handle. Ugh. Also, Mr. Rhyme is actually a tough Pokemon. All right, time for the test exactly how far my team is. Okay, your team is probably just fine. Um, who's Who am I going to give the time to shine, though? Who am I going to give the light of day to? That becomes a question, because... You know what? Personally, I'm feeling fruition. Fruition deserves the light of day. I mean, ice type and psychic, so psychic won't do jack diddly squat oh that's not good either like yes I'm guaranteed faster but icicle spear is going to hurt like uh, a butt if it hits all five times we might actually die it only hit twice okay it's fine 
Um, I don't remember if Mr. Rhyme is off uh, de defensive or special defensive, so I think it's more specially bulky. Wait, this is Mr. Mime. Oh, I didn't know that. That okay. Well, I know Mr. Mime is more specially bulky. <laughs> I'm glad I read. There's this thing called reading. And you know, reading is very helpful because then you know what's going on. It Because my, I don't, re Mr. Mime is not that to me. Mr. Mime is the pure psychic type that became a fairy type in later generations. Um, not that. <laughs> that just feels not like Mr. Mime at all. That, that. I wonder if Mr. Is Mr. Rhyme a, a shield exclusive? I need to know that now because that might be why I just don't think of it. Is Mr. Rhyme a shield exclusive? It is not. But it happens at the. Literally, you only see it at the very end of the game. As an a low, low, low encounter, it looks like. So, I mean, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. It makes me feel a little bit better. Also, Togepi, really? Dude, I have this Pokemon. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called Whaleabout, and Whaleabout's going to just whack you with 170 base power move. I'm okay with that, honestly. Dude, wha poor freaking, poor freaking Slowmon. Just Whaleabout's just going to be like, pop, 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 pop. Oh, oh, all those rock types, too. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm faster. There's no way I'm not. 170 base power stabbed to the face. That's an Oko for sure. Oh my gosh. That even went so fast. Yeah, that was 100% Oko. Okay. Well, about... Thank you, buddy. Making that easy. Zapdos. I'm going to Ancient Power because Zapdos doesn't... I, I'm not affected by Zapdos. Oh, I'm affected by that. That's gonna hurt. Defense fell though, right? Defense, special defense, not speed. Okay, for a second I thought speed was impacted as well. Omni? No, of course not. Um, hmm. Thing with Dragon Ascent that I don't like. Is that it's not punishing. Like, on the offensive spectrum. That did 69 points of damage. So, I'm definitely in range of a kill. Um, and if speed was not impacted, I'm not going to test that. Um, I would rather go ahead and go into something more def on the defensive side, I think. But, the pr like, yay. Yeah. this is the, that's, that's the opportunity for yay to come out, honestly. I just, I thought about it for a second. Like, I don't want to test it. And if it's a high roll, then I don't, I really don't want to test it. Because I like Whale about a lot. Oh, yeah. Yay can reasonably take two. And you know what? We might as well just shell side arm. Because, oh, my gosh. You hit two. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Because 60 some odd base points of damage on that. That was a crit. That was 100% a crit. Unless I can't do math, which is possible. Wait. That did 42 points of damage, didn't it? Oh, no. Yeah. No, that wasn't a crit. What am I saying? We, we would have taken a crit, though. Whale about level 41. Good job, buddy. What do we got next? Golduck. We can handle Golducks just fine. Um, Just with with whom do we do that with? I mean, honestly, Tarant. We haven't used Tarant very much, and we should probably start doing that a little bit more. Tarant's falling behind because Tarant just is a secondary Leafeon. Um, so we want Tarant to kind of catch up in levels. The fact that Tarant is lower significantly than whale about just shows the problem with Toronto right now um i think there's no reason to put it to sleep because i think i'm slower than it yeah and honestly if you want to set up rain dance for whale about i'm not going to complain because you know that's fine too i do appreciate you setting up for whale about like it does make a big difference here Bubble Beam. That's going to do, like, 10 points of damage. Maybe 20. 25. Yeah. With the rain. Because 1.5 times with the rain.
There we go. Toronto level 40. Oh my gosh, Toronto. I like your moveset as is. No. Wild Apple's a nice move. Don't get me wrong. But being able to lower the attacks incoming, I view better as better. Oh, Crobat. Well, I'm definitely slower than a Crobat. I'm going to go with Fruition again. Again, Fruition... The, the difference between Fruition and Tarant is that their XP gain is so much so different. And that's why Fruition is lower level. Um, because Fruition doesn't need as... Or needs a lot more t substance to level up. But I can just Rising Voltage and end this here. For sure. Acrobatics. Ooh, that's going to hit hard. That didn't hit that hard. Okay. I guess we're not going to hit that hard, um, Crobat. Cool. You have an item. That's why, actually. You 100% have an item. Hop, you know that there's this thing called uh, doubling the amount of power you do if you don't have an item? You know, there's that little, like, inkling of, you know, you got to be smart to use acrobatics and not use an item. So, um, bye to that crowbat. Just say goodbye to it because you're dumb. Don't know how to use it. <sighs> that was a good move. That was a great opportunity to actually do a buttload of damage. And you just said, I'm just going to pack an item. It doesn't matter. It's like, hop, dude. Duh. Sorry, I'm complaining about Hop a lot, but I mean, Hop has just been a dumb obstacle. The entire way through, Hop has just been this dumb obstacle that you're just like, I don't want to deal with you because there's no reason to deal with you. Um, also, oh, it's still raining. I was like, also, this is a prime opportunity for blah, blah, blah. No, it's not because rain. Um... Huh, that's neutral too. We might as well go for this. Yeah, might as well go for Spoopy. Neutral and resisted stabs on Galvantula. Poltergeist will be 100% accurate with item. I am the kind of guy that gets fired up in these situations when I'm 6 0'd. Yeah, have fun being fired up by that. Honestly, you know, I pride you on that. Good job. I'm gonna Poltergeist though, because I think you have an item on you. Quiver Dance! Oh, so scary. This might be actually really bad if you don't have an item. Oh my gosh, you don't have an item. This is bad. Um, Rain's gone. At least you can't do the Rain Thunder strategy. Yeah, I might as well Gong Shot then. Brick Break. Oh, that's going to do nothing. Dude. Dude. You Quiver Dance into a Brick Break? My God, Hop. You are so bad. I'm disappointed. Hop is absolutely garbage. It has just continued to be garbage the entire time. It's like, Hop, I'm like, oh, Hop, you made a good play. And then it's like, oh, Hop, you're trash. Literally, again, but the second or third time. I'm like, congratulate you on a good play, and then you do nothing with it. I mean, like, yeah, you probably wouldn't have been able to kill anyways, but, like, did the bug buzz? <laughs> whatever it is, the one that, like, um, you can lower the special attack with, um, but it's a special bug move. Like, it's a lot, it's a lower base power special bug move, but st 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 still? Hop, you are so bad. It's ridiculous. Don't give me the freaking pointless. Okay, good, you healed. For a minute, I thought you were going to be pointless for five, so now I was going to be mad at you. I feel so much better about myself. You really shouldn't, but okay. <laughs> I love that. The, finally, I, I this is the exact situation I talked about. I, I can't move right now. I cannot. I literally cannot move until that thing goes away. That's funny. Okay. We're also fully healed. I don't. Oh, I'm going into my ketchup. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, you do. You just are thinking that you don't. Okay. Get rid of this. Okay. So what am I going to do, though? Because this is this, 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 this fish is in the way. And I can't do anything about it. Like. Oh my gosh, if I actually avoid the dang hitbox of this thing. Um, can I actually somehow avoid the hitbox of this thing? No, I can't. It's literally impossible. But hi, Wild Warlord. You're going away real quick. Well, actually, I could realistically kill you just super easily. Anticipation. It's shuttered. Oh, no. I, I could really easily kill this thing. So why would I not, honestly? Also, the levels of the wild encounters are so high. 39? Like, what the heck?
Like, that's really what's caused me to kind of shy away and be like, oh boy. Is because that level encounters, that wild encounters are super high level. Ooh, actually, let me just get this real quick. A bomb mushroom. And then that's the, um, that's not a bad Pokemon. This is my exclamation point encounter. It's a, a cottony. I'll take that. It's another fairy type. <laughs> On, Joy specifically said, this is the generation of fairy types. She was not kidding, honestly. This is like our 50th fairy type that we've gotten. But am I going to complain about it? No, because it's a fairy type and it's cottony. And cottony's not a bad Pokemon. So... I'm just going to check out Ultra Ball on it, see what it does. Because, yeah, we have those now. I totally forgot we had those. Ah, oh, almost did good, though. That was actually not even a bad try. Oh, that's going to hit pretty hard. Oh, my gosh. That was a crit. Okay, that's what happened. Still, though. Okay, we need to go into somebody that's more special. You know who I'm actually... I know exactly who I want to go into right now. Spoopy High. We need you right now, buddy. Flower shield. I don't even know what that does. Defense. Plus one defense. Oh, it's like, it's like Rototiller, but for defense. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. Sweet kiss. Oh my gosh. This is an annoying little um, whimsicott. Honestly. This is a very annoying one, Zakat. Okay. Oh my gosh. And we hit ourselves because we, of course we did. Um, I'm going to still Guava Apple though because it's a plus one defense. Moonblast is going to do like 40 damage. Something pretty high, I think. Oh no, it didn't. We snapped out immediately though, so that's cool. I got to know that this plus one defense mattered. Oh, it totally did. Okay. Oh, we did the C word. Okay, we maybe it didn't. Still haven't gonna play it safe though. I don't wanna kill this like I killed Cottony. I was so mad that, that happened. Uh opposite gender is my Pokemon. Oh my gosh, we have a f we have a female starter? I didn't even catch that. Wow, okay. Why how did I not catch that we had a female starter? I feel like I should have reacted way more to that. I mean, I guess that's... A tr I mean, I don't really care about the genders of the Pokemon, to be honest. I, it's only when I'm naming them. And especially with, like, Spoopy and, like, Mascot Mons, it doesn't matter. So. Well, what do you got, Mrs. Whimsicott? Uh, your... Whimsicott. What am I gonna name you? I'm gonna name you... Uh, la, Lulu, 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 I like that, Lulu, okay, Lulu, what's your summary, Missy, you have Mega Launcher, oh, that's why Moonbliss did so much, okay, and you're modest, my gosh, okay, Okay, that's two good explanations. Modest plus boost on that? Oh my gosh. Lulu, you're going to the box, buddy. That makes so much more sense. I was like, there should... Like, as much as it happened, I was like, there should never have been that much. Oh, we have heavy... I, we have heavy DD boots and I haven't used it this entire time. Good job, me. Big root, we don't need. Light clay, we don't use. Soft sand. Soft sand would be nice, actually. Well, about you get that. Magnet, we don't need. Also, kind of want to unironically talk about the fact that... Oh, Toronto can... Oh, no, that's the that's not what I thought it was. Okay. Can we talk about the fact that unironically... <clears throat> Spoopy has kept this Chesto Berry... The entirety. We gave it to him in badge one. Hasn't had to utilize it once. Okay. Like, that's something to say. Oh, gosh. Okay. Honestly, I'll take that encounter, though. Let me go. Oh, boy. 
Wow, what a good job on our part. Oh, that's another route immediately. Okay. Palosan, huh? Can't complain about that. That's not a bad mod. Obviously, it's not our encounter. It's not our encounter. I just I want it to be because I like Palosan. But we can't use it as our encounter. So that's big sad. Also, you're level 40. I don't like that. Can't use that as our encounter either. As much as, again, it's another Pokemon that I would love to have. Oh, there it is. Encounter is a Rhyhorn. Which is ironically normally here. So I'll take that. I'm totally okay with that. Oh, that's the wrong move. I clicked the wrong move. Oh my god, I did that. You want to know why I clicked the wrong move? Because guess who has sp Spore in that slot? I cannot believe I did that. Like, it makes sense, right? Because I was just using Tarot and seeing what's going on with Tarot, who has Spore on the bottom. That was and that was 100% a me error. I am 100% going to admit to that. That was a me. That was not, like, the controller. That was not anything else. That was literally me being silly. Oh, this is the complicated route, if I don't remember. If I remember correctly, it is. Okay. I cannot believe I did that. Ge I genuinely cannot believe I did that. Um, I think we're gonna. I'm fine with staying in with Torrent here. Wow, just the the simple fact that, that happened. I shall now closely examine the health of your Pokemon. Doctor Joanna has a Vicavolt. Vicavolt's not really that great for us to fight either, but we're gonna deal with it. 36. Yeah, why are the wild Pokemon higher level than the freaking people? I, I thought for, I thought that was weird. And that, yeah, okay. I was not wrong about it being weird. That makes me feel better about myself. Um, I was like, wow, they're high, high leveled. No, it literally is. They are literally higher than the people. Also, Icy Wind. Great. Love it. That's going to do a decent amount of damage. Oh, okay. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Gotta go with the gunk shot again. Hope to hit. We do hit. Honestly, Spoopy's been taking care of a lot. Oh, that didn't. Okay. Now Spoopy is indeed slower than this thing, though. And uh, I'm taking no risks here. I'm gonna send in Fruition and just have Fruition take care of it. I don't think we're going to get through this entire route in this episode, guys. I, I, I genuinely don't. But the fact that we got two encounters... Oh, no! This is our first death. This is our first death. This is our first death. No, it's not. How in the world? That was quad effective. That was quad effective from a victim vault. That should have been death number one. 100%. I almost want to kill it off because I feel like that should have been death number one. But okay. I guess it's not death number one. Oh, it was literally a thing because it was a special attack. If it was a from a Vicka Bolt, obviously, that's good. But, wow, that should have been death number one. That really should have been death number one. Skun Tank. I mean, I know that this game is going to ramp up, right? And I'm fully aware of that. It's just like, wow. Okay. I just... I mean... That, they hit a quad weakness on the swap, which was smart, but also, like, bro, why? Dark Pulse. Oh, my gosh. That has a chance to flinch. And it did. I shouldn't have said it out loud, but I totally did. Um... Okay, this, this is not an Oko, though, I don't think. It is. Okay. Just prove me wrong. That's fine. <laughs> Honestly. 
I guess proving me wrong there is not a bad thing, but still. Okay. We're hitting the 40s. I don't even know when our next gym leader is, level-wise, to be honest. Um, but this is one of those routes that you can't just, like, fly by. Um, actually, you know what? We might as well just use our Hyper Potion, or Super Potions. They're literally, they're not viable anymore at this point. The only one that is viable on is Fruition here. But, like, I feel like if it's under 100, like, that's fine. Because we have, we probably have a berry. We really don't. Okay. I thought we would have. Oh, no. Figgy berry. It won't have an effect. Oh. Apparently that only works in battle. Okay. Fine. I'll use my super potion then. I swore that would have worked, but it didn't. That's what, I mean, I guess, again, that's fine. If it wants to be picky, it can, but... Oh, hi, Ninetales. I, again, more Pokemon that I would really enjoy using that I literally cannot. Okay. This is an item, though, so let's snag it. It's the... Oh, we needed that in a different series. Not in this one, but... There was definitely a different series in which I would have really loved having that for a specific someone. Um... So this, this way is just an uproot. I think that's the way to get to the TM, which I want to say it's good now because we're getting later into the game. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a mighty fine TM. Smart drink. I, I I like how I'm... Re I see, I'm remembering this kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Those are statics. Those phalanx are statics. We can't catch them, obviously, because they're not part of the, the that kind of form of static tree. But we do got to remember that they are existent. They are a thing. Ooh, give me that. Some hyper... Uh, three hyper potions. I mean, I'm fine with that. That's good. Okay. Okay, maybe we can get through this route. Because I feel like I'm trucking through... Like, fairly well here. I say as... I'm gonna run into a Ninetales. <laughs> I say as I run into something. Um, But it's okay. Because, again, it's like... Imposter? Okay. Yeah, it's even more okay. Thank you for having that as an ability. I really do appreciate that, because I can now I guaranteed run. Oh, I still... What? Oh, yeah, because you have my... Uh, you have my stats. So it's based off of the... Um, what the heck is it called? Speed ties. It's literally based off of speed ties. Okay, I'm going to jump down here. I'm going to snake this, whatever this is. Luxury balls, we'll take it. Oh, shoot. Grapapult. Snow warning. Ugh. Why? Why of all abilities do you have that one? Can we we can run from you though. I feel like you're not fast. Yep, you're not as you're not fast. You are, that is correct. Okay, Fowling, does does the Fowling bolt at me? No, it does not. That's Okay, so then they're not even... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Let me get back to that. Ah, pointless item. Good job. Oh, hi, trainer. I don't want to fight you. I'd rather avoid. Ah, that was all for an... Uh, oh, that was all for like 20k. Uh, okay. I feel like you're a tough trainer now if they put a 20k marker, though, next to you. How did we avoid this? How do we manage? How are we managing this? Oh, I can go behind you like this. Uh, but I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I did, I did, I did it in a cool way for a minute. Oh, it's just a cherub. We're okay. Chat, we're okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch into uh, Toronto and Sacred Fire the crud out of this thing. Because, uh, yeah, we do the thing called killing the thing. Hashtag murder business. Fight sacred fire. Put an end to this thing. Grass Knot does nothing, so. It does, like, what was to what, 20 damage? Yeah, just about. <coughs> Seeing? Burn, please. 
No, we didn't get the burn. It's okay, though, because now we can just safely Shadow Claw. To be honest, Innards Out still scares me. Like, that ability and potentially seeing that ability does threaten me. Because it most definitely is an ability that exists. Because Pukamuku is still in this game. So, we haven't seen it yet. Which, like, that is the ability that I feel like could be devastating. Like, if we see that or something bad happens in regards to that ability. Oh, that's right, it's 60. Oh, jeez, that was... Nugget, why are we getting so much stuff? King's Rock, oh my. Well, we'll definitely put that on a Pokemon. Because, um, oh, let's not. You know what, let's actually take this time to... Put that on a Pokemon. I like that idea. Who do I feel is defensive? This actually I'm going to give to Spoopy now. Spoopy might as well not even have the Chesto Berry. Not being utilized, so what's the point in having it? There was something over here, wasn't there? Like, there was a crustle over here. I don't want to deal with the crustle. Forget we're dealing with it. Because we can just run. And then... Yeah, we just run from it. Because it's level 40. And that probably actually belongs there, too. But there's got to be an item over here. There's a TM. Brick Break! Ooh! Okay. I'm glad I ventured over this way. That was actually very useful. Very, very useful for us to do. And we actually did make it out. So... In the next episode of this series, we'll be taking on... Are we really at Sir Chester? There's no way. Route 8. Okay, no, there's... Oh, this is still considered Route 8, though. So it's the same route. Wow! We made it through! Okay. We actually got to Sir Chester. So, <laughs> in the next episode, we'll be going to Sir Chester and taking on the gym there. Um, wow. I was not ready to say that we're taking on the gym, but we kind of smooth sailed through that. Anyways, love you all so very much for watching. See you guys in the next one.